bioplastics. Bioplastics are made from renewable biomass sources, such as starch-based plastics, cellulose-based plastics, and PLA plastics to start. Bioplastics are a good replacement against conventional plastics made from petroleum and natural gas. They're biodegradable and can even be made in your own home. Every year, 50% of the plastic we use is used once and then thrown away. The average American throws away approximately 185 pounds of plastic per year. 90% of all trash floating on the ocean surface is just plastic. All of this can be done away with the use of biodegradable plastics. Water bottles, pens, wrappers, packaging, bags. It pretty much comes to your own imagination to think of what we could use these for. We have about 50 years of oil left, and that applies for all of the different types of production and uses in the world we use it for. Eventually, we'll have to find a better solution to keep our lives sustainable and, of course, green. We're here to show you that even you yourself can make bioplastic. First things first, you need water, starch, vinegar, and glycerol. All items you can find at a store and online. Get your supplies together, including a syringe or measuring spoons, measuring cup, something to stir with, a stove, and a pot. Let's start off with 120 milliliters of water. Then, add any food coloring of your choice. I put around 4 to 5 drops. Next, put in 4 milliliters of glycerol and 4 milliliters of vinegar. Lastly, add in 30 milliliters of starch. Any starch works really. Tapioca is what I used. Mix well, and don't be alarmed if the starch begins to clump. Keep mixing and it will eventually become completely liquid. Turn on your stove and get ready for cooking. We add water to our starch in order to begin giving room between our starch molecules. Through hydrogen bonding, the starch starts to get attracted to the water more so than themselves. Glycerol is meant to be used as a plasticizer, giving our formula a rather flexible property. Vinegar, on the other hand, helps encourage a hydrolysis reaction in our liquid, breaking down amylopectin molecules into smaller amylose molecules. Keep mixing and don't be worried if you see nothing happening. The transition is noticeable and almost instant. After you see it become translucent and much thicker, give it about another 30 seconds and you're ready to start pouring. Pour your plastic into any molds you like. 